Canon's patented a high-speed stacked sensor. High speed, low power, and longer battery life. But will this end up in the EOS R, the R5S? Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Simon. Thanks for tuning in to The Ordinary Filmmaker. Subscribe to get notification of new videos like this one so you don't miss any news, rumors, gear reviews, or tutorials, no matter what time of day they happen to come in. And to make things just a little bit more interesting, I'm giving away a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. Details are in the description down below, or you can watch this video right here, but please take a look at the terms and conditions as there are some age and location restrictions. All right, I know it's late. Well, maybe it's early for where you're watching it, but I was just getting ready for bed and I noticed a piece of news come across my desk. Canon News has uncovered a patent for a high-speed stacked sensor. It has several goals, and two of those goals are to increase the speed while managing power requirements of a sensor. Now, this isn't any easy feat, as Intel has found out trying to compete with Apple and their ARM-based processors. Now, while we increase the speed of a chip or add more transistors, power requirements goes up, as does heat. But it is possible to increase speed, resolution, and still deliver less heat and require less power. We recently saw this with the Apple M1 chip. Apple's able to deliver far more power with much reduced power footprint, all while being able to process much faster and with longer battery life. That covers the what and why at a conceptual level. The next question is where? Will we see the new sensor in the Canon EOS R5, the high megapixel camera that's supposed to be anywhere between 80 and 90 megapixels? Well, perhaps. Canon News thinks this is a possibility as well. While Canon has experimented with high megapixel sensors before, this camera combined with a Digic 10 could technically reach speeds of 10 frames per second at 80 or 90 megapixels. And that's pretty impressive when you think about it. But we already know that the EOS R1 is getting an all new sensor. It will be the fastest stills camera ever produced by Canon. Having this new sensor in the EOS R1 would make for a very fast camera with a fast sensor capable of operating at a high speed without overheating and of course lasting longer on a single battery charge. You see, mirrorless cameras, they don't last as long as DSLRs, or at least they haven't in the past. Canon's coming on strong. They ended 2020 with powerful new mirrorless cameras. A high speed stacked sensor separates Canon from the competition just a little bit more. I'd love to see the sensor in the Canon EOS R5 Mark II, but obviously that's a few years away. Before I sign off, I, I just <laughs> I want to talk about something um, a little bit behind the scenes again. I was actually watching The Expanse. It's, it's around 11 o'clock at night. I was watching a couple of episodes. My wife's watching cat videos on her phone. And this news came across. I saw this from Canon News and I read it and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's really interesting. And I thought, I got excited. I got excited like I did a year ago when I was really just kind of getting into a stride with my channel. I saw exciting news and I thought, you know, it's almost midnight. It'll be midnight by the time I get this out. But on the other side of the planet, it's midday. People are getting ready to have their lunch. And I thought, you know what? It'd be really great to beat the competition here in North America and Europe, get this story out. So I thought, you know what? I quickly wrote something out, scripted it out sent it to my iPad, put it in the teleprompter, and just started recording. And I've only done one take of this. I haven't rehearsed anything. I'm a little tired. I probably don't look my best, but I'm excited. And I know I'm going to have trouble sleeping now because once I finish editing this, I'm going to be excited. And that's what these rumors and news do to me, uh, like it does to you. It, it gets me excited about what's possible, what's coming up next. And, you know, I don't feel any less about my R5. I don't feel like, oh, great, I should have waited longer. What I do is I, I imagine the future and where things look better and what could be happening in a few years from, from now. I'm excited by cameras like the R1, by the R5S, and also the Sony A9 Mark III, which we were supposed to get an announcement. We were supposed to get an announcement from Sony at CES, and CES is long over. It's now Friday, and guess what? <laughs> the biggest news of the week, really, is coming not from CES, from out of CES. And I think that really kind of captures CES. From the point of view of cameras, video cameras and stills, hybrid cameras, CES isn't where the news happens. Companies like Canon, they march to their own beat. Same with Apple. They've got news, they'll release it when they're ready to release it on their schedule 
and not at any particular show. But that's it for now. I've got to get up for work in the morning, so I'm going to end this now. But don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win the Cinco Lab S6E and M3 shotgun microphones. I'll be awarding these two prizes once the channel reaches 20,000 subscribers in just about a week away. And I'll be offering up a different and more expensive prize every 10,000 subscribers until I reach 100,000. At which point, I'll be awarding a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera to one lucky viewer. And on that bombshell, the second bombshell of the evening, thanks for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon.